So what's in the message? How, how can we decode, how we can crack the, 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 the communication code of, of cancer cells? The long-term view is to be able to actually to, to cure cancer. Exosomes and cells secreted by tumors are a critical part of the microenvironment. We think that cancer cells, they make vesicles and they customize them for their own purposes. Tumor is not anymore what we thought it was. They are very good in making their own language and then actually giving out signals that cannot be intercepted by our immune system. And that's what we're trying to do, decode this language that the cancer cells are using. In glioblastoma patients, you can actually get genetic information about the tumor by taking a serum sample instead of a brain uh, cancer biopsy. Exosomes can actually give you some information about the content of the cell, and that can tell you something about whether the cell is normal or headed towards being malignant or is fully malignant. Those types of biochemical markers could be incredibly valuable in detecting cancer at a stage where it's early and can be treated effectively. Just taking some blood is much easier than taking a biopsy. We have uh, developed the platform in three biofluids. So we're working in uh, urine samples as well as blood and cerebrospinal fluid. We're focused on developing diagnostic tools for prostate cancer, brain cancer, neurodegenerative disease and other solid tumors. A lot of patients that are diagnosed with a certain disease they are treated all alike, but not all patients are similar. Maybe the exosomes, they can say something how the treatment uh, worked. Was it good? Uh, did it work efficiently or not? You can use exosomes potentially as therapeutics to directly target cancer cells and then kill the cancer cells without uh, killing the healthy cells. Currently, there is a program that's uh, being run in France to use exosomes from patients with cancer uh, so to purify the exosomes from their immune cells and to re-inject them into these patients with the hope to boost their immune responses against their own cancer. So you could load these uh, little vesicles with very specific targeted uh, molecules that only are damaging to the cancer and not to normal cells. Exosomes used this way would be a, a sort of personalized therapy. We have hurdles to get there, but it's uh, an exciting opportunity to actually reach much further in those fields. Mm -hmm.